Here's him at the Popo Backyard Farm, and I'm making my husband breakfast, and I wanted to talk to you guys about what's going on at my house. Clay and I both got um, some news about our house. We both went to the doctors last week, and so I'm changing things up. So yesterday, of course, we were gone all day at the hospital and shopping and stuff. So this is my breakfast this morning. It's uh, three small bantam eggs, but there's a lot of eggs there, but I wanted to eat enough. And then this is Clay's breakfast, which I actually broke the yolk, so I feel bad, but his potatoes, which these are going to be split in half because too many potatoes. And he's got eggs and, uh, oh, I got the shell in there, so I got to get a little towel. So anyway, um, what's going on, he does not like scrambled eggs, so these are just going to be what they are. So anyway, um, he's got high sugar. I have low sugar, so I have to start eating more small meals, and I have to watch when I'm eating these because I've been eating... I was starting to feel like um, I was so tired all the time, I couldn't stay awake, so I was eating more sugar, and I talked to the doctor about it, and he said, like, flaking up and down, it wasn't really helping, so I'm going to definitely be eating more smaller meals, and then for Clay, he should be eating, like, a high-protein diet with lots of veggies, which is pretty much how everybody should be eating anyway. i got quail eggs in here. So I've got quail eggs in here, bantam egg, and a regular old chicken egg in here, so... Um, this doesn't look like the best breakfast, but I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, how to keep your, uh, you know, get your health in line a little bit with the cooking. So this isn't, like I said, the, what happened with the bantam eggs this morning, they were really rubbery and they were hard to open because the chickens are noodle laying. And so the, the shells are really good. So that was why that happened. But anyway, you know, a high protein diet with not a lot of, uh, a high protein diet and lots of vegetables, meat and vegetable, pretty much, five at the store, that's any time you get the carbs. Then you'll automatically just about lose weight and small portions. But I want to kind of have you guys along with the trail to give you guys some ideas to motivate you to get you back into great health. And if I show you some of what we're doing, it might give you some ideas. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment. God bless, and I better feed my husband breakfast. God bless.